Hello, I'm John Davis and I'm a tutor in modern film and theatre at Moy College and I've been presenting films at Waterman's for over 20 years. Welcome to this latest Waterman's No Ticket Required Film Club. First of all, a huge thanks to everyone who came to our discussion of Fruitvale Station. It's one of the best we'd ever had, lots and lots of intelligent ideas and passion. Please, please, please keep it up. For our 13th edition, we have a first. In previous weeks, we've looked at individual films, interviewed a director and had discussions on the cinema of Poland and France. This week, we're devoting ourselves to the work of one of Britain's film director greats, David Lean. François Truffaut, the French film director and critic, once said that the words cinema and British were a contradiction in terms. He said, to put it bluntly, isn't there a certain incompatibility between the terms cinema and Britain? Which is kind of rich, coming from a guy who wrote a book about Alfred Hitchcock. But if you did ask the average cinema goer in Britain to name their top ten favourite British film directors, it might be a bit of a struggle. You'd probably have more luck asking for ten top American or French directors, even. Alfred Hitchcock would probably be there. Ken Loach. And certainly uh, we could claim Charlie Chaplin. But tonight's subject, David Lean, makes most of those top ten lists without a problem. In fact, here's a couple to give you an example. Here's the Daily Telegraph's top ten list. And here's another one from a website called A Taste of Cinema. So in either event, David Lean is up there. And why? Well, largely for the big films, Bridge on the River Kwai, Lawrence of Arabia and Dr Zhivago. But these were the showstoppers, or the cake king, icing on the cake, as his directorial career had much more history and depth. He was born in Croydon in 1908 into a well-to-do, prosperous family. But unlike his brother, he was not academic and joined his father's chartered accountancy firm. But his heart lay more in the box brownie camera he'd been using since he was 10 and the photographs he'd been taking. He spent a lot of time in cinemas and volunteered at a film studio at the suggestion of one of his aunts as a tea boy and then worked his way up the um, professional grades through Clapper Boy to the elevated role of film editor where he worked with people like Powell and Pressburger. Eventually he made it to director in the wartime Noel Coward story in which we serve, which starred Coward himself, um, John Mills. He was a success as director and his two Dickens adaptations, Great Expectations and Oliver Twist, established his reputation. Although his work with Coward um, led to some fine work, including the quintessentially British Brief Encounter, which won prizes at the Cannes Film Festival and Oscar nominations. But let's have a look at the trailer for this week's film. Please, sir. I want some more. Cine Guild, brilliant team of film craftsmen who capped a series of fine films with the memorable Great Expectations, now recreate Charles Dickens' best-loved work, Oliver Twist. No other story so full of drama has such humanity. Nowhere else can you find characters who make you feel so deeply emotions you want to hide. Robert Newton is Bill Sykes. Get up. Alec Guinness, whose brilliant characterization as Mr. Pocket was outstanding in Great Expectations, unbelievably transformed, is Fagin. Why are you awake? Speak out, boy, quick. Kay Walsh is Nancy. You've got the boy, what more do you want? Let him be! Francis L. Sullivan and Mary Claire are Mr. and Mrs. Bumble. Henry Stevenson, Mr. Brownlow. Kathleen Harrison, Mrs. Sarberry. Anthony Newley, the Artful Dodger. Diana Dawes, Charlotte. And introducing John Howard Davis. My name's Oliver. Oliver Twist. Do you know what this is? Yes, sir. And if you speak a word when we're outside, you'll get a bullet through your head without warning. What's become of the boy? The traps have got him, and that's all about it. Out 
over the roof. His films grew in scope and budget, and he became internationally renowned, working for the big studios, making Bridge on the River Kwai, Lawrence of Arabia, Dr Zhivago, Ryan's Daughter, and in 1985, A Passage to India. He died in 1991, aged 83. On November the 9th at 8pm, we'll be analysing his version of Oliver Twist in discussion with John Tamasunis Morgan, Waterman's veteran film programmer. I look forward to seeing you then, and this is what you do now. Mm -hmm.